Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with P&G Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing a Power Horse 9000 ES. Um, we'll do the propane conversion and then we'll show you the steps on the natural gas. Now this kit for this particular unit will be a custom kit design for this 9000 ES only. So it's not a throw in the box universal kit. Everything will be pre-cut on the hoses. Everything will be pre-assembled and set for you. So we'll go ahead and get started on this video and I hope it helps you out. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover and filter. There's two filters in this one. Go ahead and remove them. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove the six nuts from the outer side to remove the center cover. One more here. We'll go ahead and pull that center cover off. Set that to the side. Now on the back of this you got a little uh, breather tube, just go ahead and pull that up and then we'll show you the next steps. Okay, now we'll go ahead and remove the two nuts here holding on the back cover. And then we'll expose our gasoline carburetor. And then on the back of this there's a vibration bracket nut also. It's down here on the back side. Just go ahead and remove that also. And that will give you access to the gasoline carb. Now we'll go ahead and pull this to the side. We got a tube connected over here. Just go ahead and set that to the side and we'll show you the next steps here. Okay, so now what we got to do when we add our slim adapter on here, obviously the studs aren't long enough for it to get our air cleaner back on. So what we're going to do is go ahead and remove the metal gasket with the uh, O-ring seal in the center. Pull your gasoline carburetor back so you can expose your studs in the back here. Go ahead and get you some vice grips on the back side. And the reason we're going on the back side is so we don't gnarl up the threads. Just lock down on them. And you're going to go ahead and turn them out about three to four complete turns so you can get that to go. Now, there is plenty of meat. These things are in there an inch, so you're only coming out a quarter inch, so you still got three quarters of an inch back in there. Go ahead and back them out. And then we'll do this side here. All right. Okay, it's about three or four turns. We'll check it out. We'll see if she works, and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, now that we've got our studs backed out far enough, what we're going to do is we're going to supply you with a new gasket. This one here actually went first, but we're going to use this one here first. Then we're going to slide our adapter on, okay? And then we'll use their metal gasket. So instead of it being on this side, okay, we're going to come on this side. Get that on there. Go ahead and get that set up on there. Okay, then we can get our cover back on. And now you can see you got plenty of room to go ahead and get your nuts back on there. And we'll go ahead and tighten them down. And it's nice and secure in there now. Now what we'll do is go ahead and get our center cover back on okay and we'll get these started
these over here you're probably going to have to hand start it's kind of tight by the frame there okay that one Started. Yeah, it's a tight fit over here, so. Okay, looks like we got that one now. Alright, one more here in the center again. I'm gonna go ahead and lock them all down. And I just crisscross the pattern, just so, you know, it doesn't work. All right, we'll go ahead and get our filter back in here. Get this one set back in here. And get our air cleaner cover back on. And see, you still got plenty of room between that to be able to change your air filter and everything so that's that step there okay now on the back side of this the vibration bracket what we did was just loosen up the bolt here on the bottom of the engine and just pulled that forward that way you can get that back on go ahead and get that going there and you can tighten that back down nice and snug and we can go ahead and get our hoses hooked back up in our box here get our other hose back down here get our clamp back on there and that is that step right there and we'll show you the next step all right now that we've got everything installed here what we're going to do is go ahead and get our regulator installed now, this will all come pre-assembled for you, so again, you won't have to assemble anything. What we're going to do is we're going to mount it up here um, so you can still get access to change your plug. you got no problem there. Um, it's a nice little good clean fit up there. So let's go ahead from the corner of the frame. We're going to come over and mark 10 inches. And I'm going in the center of this bracket. Okay, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and mark over five and three quarters of an inch. Okay. And again, in the center. Okay, so we came over 10 inches. Made our mark. Let's recheck that right there. And then five and three quarters again, just double check it. Five and three quarters on. Now what we'll do is go ahead and get a punch. This way your drill doesn't wobble around on you. Okay, make a mark there. Go ahead and make your mark here. And then we'll go ahead and drill that out. All right, now that we've made our marks, obviously the gas tank is behind here. We don't want to puncture it with the drill. So I just get a piece of metal, or you can get a piece of block of wood, just kind of put it up there. And we'll go ahead and get this one drilled out. See how nice and thin it is. It's easy to drill. Okay, we'll go ahead and clean those holes up and we'll show you the next step. Okay, now what we'll do is go ahead and get our regulator mounted up here. We will supply you all the hardware with this. Go ahead and slide those through. Alrighty. 
So just kind of hold them with your hand. Go ahead and get your flat washer. You got a lock washer on back here. And the nut. Got that one. Go ahead and do this side here. Get our lock washer. Get that started. Alrighty, got that. We'll go ahead and lock this down. That's that step there. We'll show you the next step. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and install our vapor hose. Uh, that'll go on the bottom of the adapter here. Slide that on there. Now, I don't tighten anything up yet until I get this up here and on. So I can turn this in any direction I need to get the kinks out. So go ahead and bring it up there and just kind of twist it till you get it in a good spot and then go ahead and lock it down. And that will Finish that step up. Now we'll go ahead and get this thing hooked up to uh, propane and we'll run it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our propane hose connected here. Now you don't need any pipe dope here. Uh, it's a flare fitting. Go ahead and get that snug down. And then we'll come over here and hook up our propane tank. And when you turn this on, make sure you always turn them on slow so you don't get a vapor lock in your hose. Go ahead and turn that on. Okay, we got that. Now, this is your power adjustment. In is lean, out is rich. This is the most sensitive adjustment you'll have on the unit. On the back of it, there's a primer button. And that's what I'll use to feather it. I'll kind of get it going and press the primer button in and out just to keep it going until I adjust that in. So let's go ahead and hit our button. Make sure our key is on back here. Ah, almost. One more time and hit the button. Now, we'll preset these as close as we can here. Obviously, we have a unit here, so we'll set these for you. But every engine is a little bit different depending on the hours you got on it. So this is the propane setup. Now, when you go to natural gas, basically, you're just going to eliminate this hose section here and the three-quarter bushing. You'll run your natural gas line right to the ball valve here, okay? Now, we also carry the three-quarter inch uh, natural gas hose for this that's what I definitely recommend because this is a pretty good size unit and then we also carry the quick connects on that too so that's the steps there on that okay that concludes the video for the power horse 9000 ES uh, we showed you the propane uh, steps and then the natural gas again like I said in the beginning of the video these are custom kits they're not just a throw-in-the-box kit uh, and on your way these are pre-assembled uh, everything's already tightened for you. We, we set the power elbow for you, get you in the hunt. Obviously, you'll have to do a little bit of adjustment there, not much. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I uh, really appreciate it. Hope it helps out and uh, have a wonderful day.